went to GE. That's where they make jet engines. Come on. We stopped at the GE aviation plant in Auburn, Alabama. It was something else. I've never really seen any of the technology that they had there, seeing them building the parts for the jet engines and just how efficient and clean the place was, was pretty crazy. You can look at actual parts being 3D printed. These, these will go in an engine. See, see the laser dancing around in there? That's a bed of powdered metal. It's, it has the consistency almost of flour. And the laser's coming down. It's, it's actually melting the, the material for a split second and then it's solidifying right there on the spot. So, you know, we're, we're able to create complex geometry and, and real metal parts just by melting powder and re-solidifying it right there. This part was 3D printed. So if you can, if you can think it, you can print it. Do you see that vacuum hose back there? You want to grab that vacuum hose? and you're just gonna start removing powder off of that middle area right there. My name is Christine. I am a technical associate here at GE. I have the responsibility of running the DMLM machines, that's digital melting laser machines. I have a high school education. I actually got my GED and, and graduated on time with my class. I did not go to college, but I was raised where, you know, a good day's work is a good day's pay. I've worked manufacturing majority of my life. What brought me here to GE was a news report talking about 3D printing machines. I just felt like that was something that I was very interested in. And I tried hard to get on out here and thinking the whole time that I wouldn't get in out here. You know, because there was such a stringent criteria that you had to go through to become hired out here. I was really proud that I did get in the front door. And I'm proud to say that I was the very first female that got the opportunity to work in the 3D printing area. How important do you think it is for our generation to get into like manufacturing or like 3D printing? I think it would be a very important step. 3D printing, it's a wave of the future. It's a big field and it's gonna be wide open. We actually use a robot to remove the parts of the, the, the build that we don't care about. Hey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Could you explain a little bit of what you do here and what life is like working here? I work over in the overhaul section where we actually tear down the engines and rebuild them. You can get your hand into any part of the business here at the site, even though you're a technician. So this is a, what we call a vein sector, and it is inserted between each stage. So he's adding more halves on to his compressor to build up the case. It's got to be built in stages or else it can't all go together. So we'll insert vein sectors here, here and here in each stage, and then we'll actually build up the whole case. You know, as a kid, one of the things I always thought that would be cool would be to fly a jet, helicopter, stuff like that. And it was really a matter of what's the best way to figure out if I want to become a pilot. So I put myself close to that job, and the closest ability that I could do to get there was by working on the jets. After that, I was like, I'm not sure about being a pilot, but I enjoyed what I did while I was in the military. I realized quickly that working with my hands is what I enjoy doing. To me, it's neat to build stuff, in my opinion. It's fun to tear things apart and being able to put them back together. What advice would you give to like us and like people going through that transition phase where they're not where they want to be. Some jobs require, I like to refer to as stepping stones. Sometimes in order to achieve your higher goal, you need to take other jobs, start from the bottom, and then work your way up. And you just need to understand that, you know, you're not gonna always jump straight to the top. You gotta realize that it takes hard work sometimes. And it's possible, you just gotta look around. The world is your oyster right now because you are young and you have so many opportunities ahead of you. If there's something you're passionate about, just work hard. Just do it to the best of your ability. I think your work ethic speaks for you. If you're a good person and you do the best you can, I think good things will come to you. Follow your passion because that's truly what I believe you should do.